All right, now that you are an expert at doing that tapping pattern, I'm curious if you can do that a new pattern. So you're gonna be coming up with a whole new pattern that I've never even taught you before. But there's just a couple of rules. You have to make it eight beats long. And the last two beats have to be a pass and then a grab. So you're gonna need that hand still stuck to your leg, but then maybe you might do a different pattern. It could go one, two, three, four, five, six, pass and grab. It could go one, two, tap, 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 one, two, pass and grab. It just has to be eight beats. So you could get creative. You could even add some TTs in there. You could add some rest where you do nothing. You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, pass and grab. But it always has to end with that pass and grab. Once you are super confident with that eight beat pattern, see if you can do it to uh, the video below Six Little Ducks. And if you don't have anyone to play it with, maybe you don't add the pass and grab. Maybe you just do eight beats and it just keeps repeating. It's called an ostinato. So if you're all by yourself doing this, you could even go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it would just keep going. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, fair ones too, but the one little duck. And see if you can keep that pattern going for the whole entire song. It takes major, major concentration, but I know you can do it. Catch you next time. Bye.